Yeah, I thought the virtual reality tests were pretty good fun. Uh, we were just doing the baselines today for uh, if we need them in the future. But um, yeah, I think the potential is huge. I mean, this is the first time we've, we've, we've seen this technology for this reason. You know, clinically I can see subtle deficits, but it's so hard to measure that and measure it well and accurately. Um, and that's one of the beauties with this technology was it allowed us to be a little bit more sensitive, a bit more accurate, but also challenge multiple systems at once. A lot of current tests we do are just, they're not testing the systems we really want to be looking at. And especially with these guys being on the ice, it's such a fast paced dynamic environment. Um, virtual reality is a great way to you know, explore that and challenge that a bit more. I think it's amazing. Um, I mean, that was the first time I'd used it last week, and um, it, it caught me by surprise by how realistic it was. So um, I'm sure it'll be it'll be amazing in the future. Um, if you have had a knock, then I'm pretty sure it'll pick pick up that you're not quite right. So um, I think it will look after us. Certainly, when I first started playing football, none of this was available. But like I say, it's it's all really good for you because you. Like I said before, you've always got that baseline to come and compare it to. So if you do get injured, if you injure your ankles or anything like that, you can come and do this again and compare it and, and, sit and see where you need to get back to to, to try and get back to that, that, that peak physical fitness that you was in pre-season. A new test like this, a new technology, if it's, if it's going to be more, a more accurate way, of, uh, accurate way of getting a baseline, and I think that's a, that's a great thing for the players and for the union. Yeah, we certainly do not want players out there uh, unless they're 100%, you know, one, for the safety and, and health of them. Uh, and two, obviously, yeah, we, we, we want them to be making good decisions on the ice. So certainly if, if it impacts their ability to make good decisions, they shouldn't be on the ice. I think just having more data, having a wider range of tests that you can do that cover a lot more bases, uh, um, I'm sure you can say, like, you, you see the numbers as they progress when you get back towards your baseline. And like I said, like, that just gives you a lot more confidence coming back to play. I used it a little bit last season with my rehab on my ankle. Sometimes rehab can get a bit long, boring, and um, you know it's a it's a tough time when you're out injured. So um, to use different things like this and um, innovative, you know, um, VR headsets like this is really beneficial. It was really easy actually. The players were engaged. They thought it was brilliant. They could see the, the benefits straight away. They knew what we were measuring, what we were looking at. Um, and for them it was new, it was novel, but it was more personal with it because they could one-to-one -one test. So immediately I've got player engagement, which is brilliant. So for, for us, like having another layer that gives guys the potential to rehab it and also give them confidence that they're ready to come back when that time is there is, is hugely important. Uh, whether it's your balance, uh, your ocular motor skills, um, a number of different things. And I feel like these kind of tests really touch base and on each and every one of those. So. Uh, if you're lacking one area, you can really see the results. Incisive is one of the top VR companies in the world, so if this gives us a competitive advantage, uh, you know, like we're always after those 1% marginal gains, and if this is a way of doing it, working with one of the top VR companies in, in Northern Ireland, it's fantastic for both of us. You can really start to look at these subtle changes, and it's those subtle changes that persist that puts a player at um, risk of injury further down. A current battery don't pick those up, this stuff does. Um, you know, some of the balance stuff where they try and throw you off, you do definitely feel um, like it's affecting you. And um, yeah, I think, I think it's a really good, good start and, and yeah, I think it's got huge potential.